clothes. This is not, it's not good to be smelling or, or just subjecting yeah. yourself to the smoke uh, from this fire. So keep everything closed. All right. Uh, we have Danny Romero in the studio as well. He's been closely monitoring this fire uh, and the weather surrounding this fire. Uh, really poor timing, wasn't it, Danny? I yeah. mean, today had to be such a hot day. Tomorrow things are going to cool off. Right. It, it, I mean, so, that, so we got something forward to look, uh, something to look forward to. But talking about what it's been. The last few days in Calabasas, over 100 degrees. Mm. So your daytime heat, that's one part of the weather picture. The other part now, of course, is the humidity. Now, at nighttime, we have recovery. Moisture comes in the air. You know, we talk about the marine layer from uh, Malibu, which is uh, 18, 20 miles away. Well, so far away, with such intense heat during the day, the recovery at night has not been very much. So not a lot of moisture has been allowed to get into the area in the overnight hours when you normally do. So where you want to see humidity readings in the you know, 80, 90% range, at best, I was checking, they're getting 50, 60%. Mm -hmm.